impenetrable forest. Magnificent creatures roam this land. The game of life and death played out right here every second of it. This is not the Amazon or the Redwoods. We're in Washington, D.C., and this is an urban garden. Just a few feet tall, this garden is everything to many creatures in the neighborhood. And it may be small, but this is a complete mini ecosystem. It's important to create gardens in urban locations because there is a whole range of benefits that a garden can bring to the city. For example, you're able to create a habitat for the local pollinators. The right plants feed pollinators like bees, butterflies, and hummingbirds. In turn, these pollinators and their visits help the plants reproduce. With urban gardens, if you build it, they will come. And it's not just the pollinators that show up. Another element that's really important to an urban garden is the production of food. Right here in this garden, we're able to grow such a wide range of fruits and vegetables and herbs. We could easily come here and feed ourselves for every dinner of the year. A lot of the food in the grocery store, it's often coming from very, very far away. But by growing your own food, and you can choose to know where your food is coming from. You're able to save on your grocery bill, but also add ingredients to your kitchen without having to put out as much carbon and pollution into the environment. And therefore reduce that carbon footprint of your diet. Good. Think of all the seeding, watering, fertilizing, harvesting, transporting, stocking, scanning, 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 and bagging, bagging, bagging you and your food avoids. And aside from the sweat and water you pour into your garden, something else is working just as hard. Soil is one of the most important parts of an urban garden. The soil is a mix of bacteria, organisms, and decaying material. And a living, healthy soil will produce living, healthy plants, which in turn will create a living and healthy environment. Healthier soil, stronger plants. Stronger plants, better garden. Better garden, cleaner water. Yes, cleaner water. Our cities are basically buildings and roads, so when it rains, water just runs off these surfaces and carry with it trash, oil, fertilizer, and other chemicals straight into our waterways. Urban gardens get in the middle of all that to retain and filter our water. The garden itself, the soil, the plants, and their root systems are able to soak up a lot of that water and play a role in the cities to ease some of the stress by reducing the amount of pollution that might go into our waterways or our water sources. More than landscaping, these are mini farms and mini watersheds that ultimately bring people together. This garden used to just be a giant grass field with an area in the back for dumping. Now by creating a garden, it becomes like an outdoor community center. It becomes a place where people are living, getting to know each other, and that is really the largest impact that the space can have. Tomato and eggplant pita pockets are just a bonus. Who knew a bunch of plants could bring us cleaner water, crucial pollinators, healthier food, improved soil, and a lower carbon footprint for a closer community. Now multiply that by the other gardens in your neighborhood, city, country, and across the world, and we start to see a patchwork of urban living systems that helps nature stay productive. Nature works hard, and that's why we work and garden hard for nature.